What's up fam, my name is Jay with Daily Delinquency, back with another video, and today we have a 2021 brand new Dodge Challenger RT, and we're going to be doing a full lighting kit on this. Interior, underglow, wheel lights, color chasing RGB dream color halo headlights, and this is a kit by uh, Lighting Trends, which is a all-in-one kit, ready to go. Um, you just have to mount and install everything. The bumper does have to come off. The head, headlights got to come out and be baked for the halos to be placed inside. Uh, and you know me, I'm a big fan of the custom lighting uh, installations that I do for two reasons. One, because of lighting coverage and customization of the length of strips. And two, because you can replace individual parts when they go bad or if they get damaged in any way. But... This kit by Lighting Trends is probably one of the coolest ones that I've seen so far. So I'm kind of excited to do it. Uh, it involves a lot less soldering and all that stuff that comes with the custom kits. But I'm really interested to see how it turns out and how well it installs and how long it lasts. So check this stuff out. We have the Dream Color RGB Color Chasing Halo Headlights. We have Underglow come with the 3M backing and the clear protective covering on it. And they look to be pretty good uh, LED strips, so we'll see what they look like. But uh, all in all, that, this looks like a pretty cool kit. We've got the custom rings here that we have to adjust and modify just a little bit to get them mounted up. But uh, shouldn't be too bad, so let's get right into it. Hey man, no sleeping on the hey, job. Hey. No sleeping on the job. YouTubing, tubing, surfing the tube. the car time to take the front bumper off and get this thing all ready to go for the halos now this is a brand new car so uh, we took the extra step to just cover all our bases all the areas that we're gonna be working around with some painters tape we cover the mirrors with microfibers and painters tape around it just so we don't scratch anything up so let's get to it Now it's time to bake some headlights. We're gonna preheat the oven to 270 for about eight to 10 minutes. Get it nice and heated up and uh, take them apart. Dinner's ready. A few moments later. All right, check it out. So we got the halos in. Uh, we had to remove this halo ring. This is just a diffuser. So we removed this and placed the new halos. If you can look real close, you can see them behind there. And uh, routed the wires through and drilled a hole in the back, which will seal up afterwards. And now that these things have been baked and pried apart, and the LED halos are in, the new halos are in, uh, we're gonna go ahead and put some butyl or some RTV silicone around here and clamp them back down and uh, get them ready to go. 
All right, so we got the headlight covers back on, and uh, they're a little smudgy from fingerprints right now, but we'll clean those up nice. We got the clamps on here. It's resealed, and we're gonna let that dry fully before we handle them and put them back inside the car. silver on the all black edition challenger here got the back ones on looking good got them the same size next step is tomorrow it's getting late tonight but tomorrow we're going to do all the wiring and throw the underglow and the interior lights in there um, so the hard parts out of the way uh, the lights are just time consuming and tedious so that shouldn't be too bad so uh, can't wait to see what this thing looks like see you guys in the morning back at it again it's a new day and we got most of the hard stuff done. We're gonna start throwing these LEDs in here. We got it all planned out. We took a couple minutes to, to lay everything out exactly how we want it. And uh, we got the LEDs where they need to go, which controllers are going where. So now it's time to get to the nitty gritty and do some wire management and get these mounted up. So, all right, so the way we're gonna do the LEDs is a little bit different in the grill. I don't like the way people do it online. Uh, they, they take the bumper off and connect it to a rubber molding that sits up against the radiator and they kind of droop down in the middle and you can see them and it just looks sloppy. They drill holes and zip tie. I don't want to do that. I don't want to see the LEDs. I just want it nice and bright up against that radiator. So what I'm going to do is take this flat metal stock and cut it to length, mount it on top of the radiator hanging off a little bit, mount the edge of the LEDs on this side and paint it black, nice and clean, stealth install, bright lights shining down. Let's get it, baby. Bam, another day down. All of the underglow is installed, mounted up. All the wheel lights, the wheel rings installed, mounted up. We got the grill lights in. We got the halos and the headlights, the bumper back in. Everything is solid and ready to go. The only thing left that we have to do is the interior lights. And those are pretty easy. Uh, just peel and stick mounted uh, with some 3M tape, run the wires and the switch. I gotta put in a relay. Uh, I'm gonna put in a relay, an extra fuse, and a vandal switch. I'll, I'll show you that switch. I always like to put in a, uh, a latching vandal switch on off power to cut power from them because no matter how you wire these things, although you can turn them on and off with Bluetooth, um, they still have a parasitic draw. It, it's minor, but a lot of these kits do. I haven't ran across one yet that hasn't. Uh, so, and normally with a daily driver, you don't have any issues with your battery, but I like to put one of these in here uh, just to cut power to everything and then he can turn this on when he wants to use them and then at night when he parks his car he can shut this off and you don't have to worry about any battery draw at all whatsoever. So we're going to wire this up, we're going to do all the wiring tomorrow and I'll save you guys from the boring stuff, I'll maybe cue a little fast speed montage and then, uh, and then we'll get uh, right to the good stuff and show you what it all looks like. See you guys in the morning. We're gonna also install a relay. Now you don't have to use a relay, uh, but I like to use a relay, especially when running positive and negative wires um, through the car and then back to the devices itself. Not only um, you know do we use a fuse on those, we add a fuse, but we're also gonna use this relay so that we can run low voltage power into the car, through the firewall, to the switch, and then back to, to this relay and then throw some better power on here.
Now here's the scary part. Drilling the hole for the switch. I've checked, rechecked, and checked again, and then I checked one more time to make sure that this is where it was going. Alright guys, the car is done, it's finished baby, and it looks sick, I can't wait to show you. We're gonna back out of the garage right now. I didn't want to bore you with all the, the boring wiring stuff and all that, but uh, it was very long and very tedious. We got it nice and clean and pristine, everything fused up, relayed up, uh, it looks great, and uh, it's nice and safe. So let's pull this thing out and check out what it looks like. on my brain I'ma bring the dollars let Obama bring the change see me in the type of crowd for mine and what I want don't grow on trees the way I'm living I'ma die to shine and bigger things is what I do